Hey everyone, this is Mike with Real Dead, and today we're going to check out Evil Dead Rise. I'm going to give you my non-spoiler, maybe a few little spoilers, not but not the whole complete story of the movie. Just went and saw this yesterday. Today is Saturday. It came out on a Friday. Some places a Thursday night. But I'm going to give you my thoughts on it, and at the very end, I'm going to give you my scale out of one to five, what I give on it. So I'm going to go ahead and just read the storyline for this movie. It's a twisted tale of two estranged sisters whose reunion is cut short by the rise of the flesh flesh-possessing demons, thrusting them into a primal battle of survival as they face the most nightmarish version of a family imaginable. So just a heads up, if you've seen the Evil Dead franchise, you're probably going to like this quite a bit. Um, it's not as uh, funny or campy as uh, some of the other ones that had, um, you know, Ash in it. But, uh, uh, but you also can watch this movie not seeing those and still be scared as well. So I think it's a good combination of both. Uh, those that are diehard Evil Dead fans, you may not like it quite as much because it's not as funny and tongue-in-cheek. There are some funny scenes in this, don't get me wrong. Um, I thought the ending and beginning, um, again, I'm not going to try to spoil too much. Uh, they kind of do a book ending at the beginning and end uh, that just to me doesn't work. That's just my opinion on it. Um, but maybe it was trying to set it up for another one down the road. Uh, the main actress in this, uh, the mother of the children, it's basically a family that comes together in this apartment complex. And um, it's that's totally different from the other Evil Dead's where it takes place most of the time out in the woods, out in the cabin. So that was a new, fresh take. I thought the, uh, you know, the cinema work in here with the angles of the camera were awesome in this movie. Uh, some of the kills were awesome in this movie. Um the uh, some of the callbacks in this movie to the previous Evil Dead movies. Again, if you're an Evil Dead fan, you're going to like those. I'm sure you'll pick up on all those. Somebody that's new to Evil Dead, you'll be like, it'll go right over your head. So just a heads up on that. I think there's a, an incredible uh, scene in this movie that has a callback to the original Shining movie as well, The Shining. I thought that was awesome. But Hey, uh, it's, it's a definitely a, a movie to see if you're a horror fan, and that's why you're on this channel. That's why you clicked on it. I would definitely see it. Don't know if, you know, depends on if you got a day that you don't have anything to do and you want to go see it at the movie theater, yeah, go do that. Um, but it's, you know, just in my opinion, it's probably one I probably should have waited till it came out and streamed and watched it. On a scale of one to five, three being average for me, I would give this a four. Uh, so, again, uh, great blood in it, gore, uh, scary scenes, some jump scenes. The one negative I will say is, uh, to me, the trailer for this movie spoils a lot of what you see in the movie. So there's uh, there is some other things that come at, that are in the movie, not in the trailer. Of course, that's good, but it just feels like it took away a little bit the trailer from from the actual movie, in my opinion. But hey, what do you guys think? Do you like Evil Dead? What's your opinion? Have you seen this yet? Evil Dead Rise. If you did, what's your thoughts of it? Maybe I was just not in quite of a horror movie feel that day. I don't know. I'm always in a horror movie feel, but maybe I wasn't in a movie mode that day. Um, a friend of mine went with me. They loved the movie. Uh, me, I was like, eh, it's, it's pretty good, but I don't know. I think I still like Scream, The Last Scream a little better. But give us your thoughts and have a great one. Thanks.